hi welcome to my youtube channel please before you continue to watch this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so i want to show you how to actually upgrade or update your microsoft office professional to office 365 so here i've downloaded the uh, microsoft office professional plus 2019 from the internet this is actually just your um it does not come with an activated key so i have installed this version of software which is about 3.5 or 3.6 gigabytes so let me just try to open an office uh, and let me say excel so if i open excel here you can see if i open excel for the first time i'll be required to enter my product key so if you have a product key of the office 2019 19 professional definitely you're going to tell your product key and the office will be activated it's a one-time license you purchase and you can use it as long as you wish but if there is an update um like an updated future like on a new version of office 2020 you will probably need to purchase a new license to use office 2020 so you cannot update from 2019 to 2020 because these are two different versions but if you are using office 365 you pay for you pay for a monthly license or you pay for a yearly license so which means your futures can be updated if there are any new futures of office 365 it will be it will be updated automatically so i'm going to click cancel so yeah i'm just going to click excel workbook and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click file so if i go to file on the account here you can see that i'm using the microsoft office professional plus and um it's saying that on tuesday which is some days away from now um most features of excel will be disabled so the same is going to be for outlook excel and word and power point as well so here we have the option to actually update excel we can disable updates or we can view updates which are available but i can decide to actually see so if i click here to i can decide to actually activate my product or i can as well sign in so what i'm going to do is i'm um, let me just try to sign in to office so i'm going to use the following account uh, let me just use the account of mercy So mind you, this account already have an, uh, a license to use Office 365 E3 license. So you also have the option of E5 or E1 if you are going to be using Office 365 only through the web browser. So I'm just going to click Next. So you can see that the Office has been signed in because I've already logged onto this device before using Mercy Robot in Office 365. Here you can see. So that's why I'm that's why I'm not I required to enter my um password because my password has been cast to this device so you can see that right now um mercy johnson has been logged mercy robot has been logged onto this device you can see um she's logged onto onedrive also of the company and also to the um, site of the company as well so if i click let me try to let me just try to activate so you can see that the active we will download and activate this product for you to do this yourself select update now so we can just do that and select update now so the product is being activated you can see that it's changing from office professional to microsoft office 365 pro plus so um, excel is saying that um, we need to close the following apps before they can continue so just click continue so now um, it's trying to update um, excel and activate and change it from a windows profession from office professional to office 365 pro so let me try to start Excel again. I'm going to start Excel. Yeah, see. So I'm going to click. Now you see I didn't receive any message that I need to enter a license key. So let me click on the blank workbook. And I'm going to go to File here yeah, and then in Accounts. So right now we can see that I have a subscription product for Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus. So an April is actually um, licensed to Mercy Robot. So right now I'm using the subscription of Office 365 Pro Plus, which is compared to like when you are using the Office 365 
apps so which means that if i disabled my account if my license is withdrawn from me in office 365 i will not have the option here also my account will be um, disabled i'll be required to sign in again or use a different account my name is kelvin johnson this is how you actually update your microsoft office your office professional to office 365 pro plus please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and if you have any comments or you have any questions you can as well send it to me at info at private so i'm going to also leave my email and my linkedin account below so you can as well assess me on linkedin thank you very much and see you next time bye